I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you, and I choose not to. <laughs> I truly don't know how this situation could have gone any worse. And I thought the last two videos that I dropped on this individual were going to be it. So don't get me wrong. It's pretty funny to dunk and, uh, and make fun of Mama Max for being the biggest cornball on YouTube right now. But the reason why I decided to talk about this is because as I was watching this live stream of Mama Max's former editor, just the way Max was acting on this video, it truly does feel like he's on heroin, cocaine, he's on that good salsa. It feels like he's combining all of the drugs you can think of, let's say five, six different ones, consuming them, and then recording a video. That's what this unhinged an edited video is when it comes to attacking critical and going for him because he ignored you this is max going full stand dear charlie why didn't you write me i've been hitting you up on discord from monday to friday like i said this guy named slug which i know nothing about he used to work for mama max he quit it yesterday because of all the stuff going down and he decided to go on live stream and play an unedited 45 minute video and tell me does he not sound like a wannabe joker going after critical because critical didn't reply to him on time. I don't want to be too mean to Charlie. Char I literally, I literally love you, Charlie. I literally love you, dude. I think I would not be doing all of this if I didn't like you. Okay? Are we clear? I don't hate you. I know I'm a little, a little unhinged. Oh, my Momo Max is unhinged. Okay? For good reasons. <laughs> for honestly, like for the right reasons. Tell me, does it not sound like he's nutting in his pants as he's saying this? Oh, Charlie. Jesus, dude, you sound unhinged. You said it yourself. You sound like you're fucking cuckoo. You're crazy. You're loco, my friend. Okay, you need to get offline, but let's just be honest. You don't listen to anyone's advice. You're surrounded by bad people. And when I'm talking bad people, I'm talking really bad people. It doesn't seem like you're all there. I'm not kidding when I'm saying stuff like I do think he's on drugs and not light ones. And now it starts to make sense why the money isn't been delivered to the victims and why you haven't gone a lawyer because you're wasting all of your money on drugs. Now, is that confirmed? No, no, this is just my opinion. I'm just speculating. I'm not claiming this is 100% real, but this does not sound like someone who is all there mentally. Something has to be fucking with him. As a content creator, I edit all of my videos so i know how these recordings go i know that you say dumb stuff i know that you say cringy stuff stuff you regret later on i and this is me being honest a million percent honest with you guys i have never acted this crazy i don't care if you have covid charlie answer my dms i've been texting you like 25 times and you still don't open them oh you have covid i don't give a fuck binge my stuff is way more important than yours. Saving the kids from the black vampire is my top priority, but I haven't gone to the police and I haven't got a lawyer and I want you to take care of it. Now I understand why so many people were ghosting you and ignoring you because you're fucking crazy, dude. And we're gonna get back into this live stream. Don't get me wrong. He says a lot of other crazy stuff, but I wanna point something out before we move forward. There's a YouTuber called Nexpo. You might've heard of him, which I personally enjoy. I'm a fan. I've been watching him for like two, three, four years. And today he tweeted this. He says, I'd like to address something many of you may be wondering since we have so much audience overlap. There's a situation that's been unfolding lately regarding Max and some of his unethical practices he's been employing with his latest video subject. I'd like to, on the record, say that I fully disavow everything he's doing. The situation with him has admittedly been an absolute mess and I've tried to give him advice on how to navigate through it properly, yet it's gone ignore at every turn. I've since cut ties with with Max completely. He's burning bridges with everyone. Everyone is leaving him. Max is the problem. It's not Nexpo. It's not Critical. It's not Mudahar. It's not Nicholas Diorio. Max is the problem here. Someone who I thought I knew and once considered a friend, unfortunately, isn't who I thought he was at all. And it's fucking heartbreaking. But it is what it is. I cannot stand by someone who acts the way he does while handling such a delicate situation. I'm quite frankly embarrassed I ever stood up for him in the past and while i can't take that back i can at least move forward without any further support i think that's as best as you can put it you know it sucks to lose a friend especially when you're trying to help them and the fact that mama max is going out like this attacking anyone who dares criticize him it's sad he's a grown-ass man he has no one to blame but himself whose fault is this is it mine 
Is it Charlie's? Is it Expos? It's your fault for faking videos as far as two years ago. Everything you've built is crumbling in real time and you will be the punching bag of the internet for the next week and a half. And if Critical does drop a video on you, you are absolutely fucked. I think you're pretty cool. You could, what you could work on is being more responsive. Mm -hmm. And I know, I know you have literal millions of people vying for your attention, but you chose to add me on Discord. So I thought that meant you would want to know if there was something you needed to know about. And this is something I thought you needed to know about. And I'll get more into that when we have a conversation. It's kind of sad how much he's begging for Critical's attention. Please, I just need 15 minutes. Please, Charlie, answer me. Please, please, I need validation from you. Please, I need you to help out the cause that I've taken upon myself to fix. I haven't done anything in three years. I've just been taking money from people who actually want to help. Remnant 2 DLC. You have time for video games. You have time for me. Okay, I will, I will literally talk to you while you play video games. <laughs> like, you can literally live stream our entire conversation. I just want to talk to you as, like, a person. Jesus, this sounds like an obsessed fan. This is a, literally a stand moment right here. Charlie, I don't care what you do. You can be jerking off, but I want to talk to you. You can be shaving your balls, and I will talk to you, Charlie. I will hold your penis while you pee, Charlie. But let me talk to you, Charlie. I just need 15 seconds with you, Charlie. Dude, get the hands. If someone isn't responding to you, and it's not like Charlie was ghosting you. He has said that he had COVID. He was sick. It's not like he was just fucking around. And even if he was, no one, you, you are not entitled to anyone's response. It just makes you seem plingy and like a really, really weird parasocial relationship you got going here. Critical, please answer me, please. Pretty please. You have only ever displayed that in your character. But there are some things you can work on, and that's prioritizing children over everything else. You know, yeah, you know what? I actually take everything back. The way Mama Max is acting is completely justified. This is how people act. Yeah, Charlie added me on Discord, so by that definition, he owes me everything. And I just can't imagine adding, you know, fucking anyone, any big content creator that is, like I said, much bigger than me, and be like, yo, you added me as a friend on Discord, you owe me your time. I don't care if you're busy. I don't care if you got COVID. I don't give a fuck that your mama died of cancer last night and your brother died in the car accident. You are talking to me, okay? I don't give a fuck what you're going through. You could be dying. Why are you not answering me, Charlie? <laughs> mama Max be the type of guy to cry every single time he comes. But my friends, the worst part is this one. But I am being the nicest I could be. Char I could literally cancel you, Charlie. I could literally cancel you and I choose not to. <laughs> it's true though. It like it's the truth. Like I'm the friggin' pedo hunter. Like you no, know, that seems like a completely rational way to handle this and go about it. I absolutely love that he says he's a pedo hunter, despite the fact that a few days ago he admitted that he does not like that. He does not like the fact that that's his old brand. I'm gonna get you. And I'm going to cancel you because I'm the pedo hunter. That's looking kind of insinuating that Charlie's a predator. Like, <laughs> like why else would you say that? Yeah, I could cancel you whenever I want, Charlie. I'm the pedo hunter. It kind of sounds like you're applying or you want to imply the critical is some kind of pedophile for whatever reason. When there's zero proof of that as of now and ever. It just makes you look desperate. It makes you seem like a 13 year old who got rejected by their crush. And now you've turned to the Joker. Now you're watching Sigma edits on why women are stinky and you should never go near one because I got rejected. The money and power went straight up to Max's head. And it's showing right now. Yeah, Critical, I'm going to expose you for who you really are. It's not a very good look. It makes you look insane. It makes you look stalkerish. It makes you look a bit creepy, to be completely honest with you guys. Why would anyone want to be around you, dude? You are a freak. You are straight up a weirdo. What is going on with you? I clicked this video because I thought he was talking about me. <laughs> oh, I'm just, are you okay? Are you sure? Why do I do this to me? Because I get it. Like, I get what I'm doing is creepy and obsessive. It is. Um, but 
I promised them I would not let them down, and I will not. I think this is the saddest part. The fact that he himself sees himself, you know, part of the redundancy, but he sees himself as an obsessed creep, and he's very self-aware of that. But this is just getting sad and pretty fucking desperate. Oh, I, I, I think he's finally talking about me. I think my moment is here. I think he's finally going to talk about... Charlie is never going to talk about your retarded cause because of the way you've mishandled it, the way you've behaved yourself, and the way you act. Critical does not deserve this. This is completely unnecessary first of all no one should ever feel forced to talk about something they don't want to do that should be obvious if you don't want to talk about something don't talk about it and max has been doing this for so long and the fact that critical has been so chill about it is honestly respectable i know that if this happened to me and i had an insane annoying weird batman joker riddler type stalker dming me for months begging me to talk about something and then they do this live stream and then they talk about me and then they're talking shit about me and then they're like we could cancel you i'm the pedo police i would have done so many videos on you just to make fun of you and your dead channel charlie's a better man than i am for that <laughs> And if he acted like that, he would have been a thousand percent justified. Just imagine constantly being bombarded by, hey, can you talk about, it gets so annoying. I would have blocked you and removed you. I would have made a video on you and sent my fans to shit on you. Take a hint. Charlie has been way too nice to you. I and many other YouTubers would have straight up told you to shut the fuck up before I file a restraining order against your annoying ass. This situation keeps getting worse. And the fact that he thought he could cancel Charlie or the fact that he thought he had any power to cancel anyone Max cannot even cancel a 35 year old man who pretends to be a vampire delusional and a lot of acoustic vibes from Max but with that said what do you guys think of the situation pretty unique and somehow it keeps getting worse over here with that said don't forget to like this video share and subscribe I would really appreciate it thank you so much for watching I appreciate you bye